When Rose Peters shared that she found her car window smashed in on Featherby Road and a police incident card left on it, she was surprised to find she wasn't the only one. When she shared photos of her damaged car on Facebook, there was a huge response. One of my friends said that there's another car up the road that's also been smashed. So I put a post on a local community group and uh, within hours I had hundreds of messages and, and, and um, uh, people saying that they'd also suffered the same. The post has had over 50 shares. So many people are, you know, feeling the same, really unhappy about um, the police's actions. They're, not, they're just closing cases. They're not really doing anything to actually try and find the culprits. In fact, there was a lady who said on my post that she'd had her window repaired and then it got smashed again. She's so unhappy, she wants to move out of the area. And I don't think that's right. Why should we be forced out of our homes and move away? We need to make, create a better community. Kent Police said damage took place on May 19th and 20th and May 25th to 26th. But other drivers have told Rose Peters of cars vandalised in April. In a statement, Inspector Steve Bassett from the Medway Community Safety Unit said, We have received reports that the occupants of a single vehicle have damaged 19 parked vehicles across Medway, with 12 reports received across Raynham and Twiddle. The incidents have taken place on two different nights. At present, a suspect has not been identified, but we believe they've travelled to the scene of each offence in a small car that has been described as being orange in colour. He said his officers are following several lines of inquiry and are keen to hear from anyone who thinks they have information that can be of assistance. Though on Friday, Rose Peters had a call from the police saying they were closing her case due to lack of evidence and police funding. Another local resident has set up a survey and petition to try to get the community to put pressure on the police to find the vandals. The petition had nearly 400 signatures within two days. I hope that we'll get some some change, some visibility and some recognition, recognition that things are a problem. And it's, it, it's not, it's just, if we keep letting them get away with all this, it's just going to get ridiculous. And um, I think that, you know, there has to be an awareness, but there also has to be a commitment from everybody in the community, not just moaning and moaning, because Facebook's great, fantastic, we can never get up, but we need to actually do something. Anyone with information can call Medway Police on 01634 792209, quoting this reference number. Or they can contact Crime Stoppers anonymously, either by calling 0800 555 1 or using the anonymous online form. Residents say this isn't a petty crime. Even when the damage was covered by insurance, many had to pay hundreds of pounds in excess charges. They now want to meet with the council and police because this clearly was not an isolated incident. They want their voices to be heard and the culprits caught. Sandy Fleming for Raynham News.